Juice TV would like to take a moment to acknowledge and pay respect to the past, present and future traditional custodians and elders of this nation and the continuation of cultural, spiritual and educational practices of Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander peoples. Hi everyone and welcome to another exciting Juice TV virtual visit. My name is Ellen, I'm from the Juice TV team and we're so happy to have you tuning in today for what is our extra special NADOC week celebration virtual visit. So wishing you all a very happy NADOC week. It's no fun being a party of one, so it's about time we bring in our superstar kids hosts from the Queensland Children's Hospital Introducing to you today, it's Keith, Princess and Aiden. Hi guys, how are you doing? Good. We're good. Keith, you're <laughs> joining us from your hospital room today. What have you been up to this morning? Nothing much. Just Max and relaxing, yeah, getting ready for all the fun yeah. we have in store today. Mm-hmm. Incredible. Now, Keith, this isn't the first time that you're seeing Princess and Aiden. Can you tell us how you know them? <laughs> Princess is my sister and Aiden's my nephew. Ah, it's a family fun <laughs> spectacular today on Juice TV. How cool is that? So we've got our special guest joining us today. We won't give the game away quite yet, but we I can give away that she is an artist. Do you like doing your own art, Keith? Sort of. Yeah, you dip and dab in it. Do you like to do yeah. any particular type of art in particular? Nah. Nah? Well, I like your t-shirt today. That's got some pretty cool designs on it. Is there anything on there? What's on your t-shirt at the top there? This? That is funky. Yeah, what is that? I love that. I don't know. It's pretty cool. Yes. That's very cool. That's awesome. So we've got NADOC week coming up, Keith. Do you ever do anything to celebrate NADOC week with your family? No, not really. I think, and Princess and Aiden can tell us all about this, but I think they've been up to lots of activities at the school this week in celebration of NADOC week. Have you seen anything that they've been up to? No. Nah, they haven't shown you yet? Well, nah. I think they're going to give us a sneak peek today so we can always have a little look-see. Yeah. What have you been up to recently in the hospital, Keith? What do you like to do to pass the time? Like, go down to the starlight room and everything. Oh, yeah? Like, it's yeah. that's cool that you're getting out and about. Do you get to see Princess and Aiden while you're in hospital? Yeah. That's cool. Alrighty. Well, what I think we're going to do while we're waiting for Princess and Aiden to get back, how about we get our special guest on? Keith, what do you reckon? Yeah. 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 Groovy. Yeah. All right, let's do this. Well, I am very happy to introduce to you today our special guest. She's an incredible artist and the designer of this year's NADOC Week poster. It's Maggie Jean Douglas. Yay! Hi, Maggie. Hi. <laughs> Thanks so much for joining us today and welcome. Oh, no problem. I'm so happy to be here. We're so happy to have you. And you would have spotted our superstars. So we have got three superstars joining us today. But Aiden and Princess are just, um, just coming back to us shortly. But we have got Keith on the line. So Maggie, meet Keith. Hey, Keith. Hey. 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 <laughs> <laughs> now, Maggie, we'd like to say a massive congratulations because we were just talking about your NADOC Week poster before this. And we'd like to say a big congratulations to you for winning this year's competition because it really is a stunning piece of work. So from Keith that and I, and ah, now we've got Princess and Aiden from the whole <laughs> hospital. We just want to say a big congratulations. Thank you, I appreciate it. Oh, and there's your poster. <laughs> <laughs> so I think you, you might be able to spot as well in the background of Princess and Aiden, I think they've even got the poster because they're joining us from the school. So Aiden, can you, can you point to the poster for us? Oh no, we're frozen! 
Well, just about. Ah, there we go. Slight Ooh, delay. That looks good. But there we go. There it is. Eliminated and everything. There you go. Nothing but the best. <laughs> well, I, we were talking as well, and um, Keith, I know that you had a bit of a question that you wanted to ask Maggie um, after looking at her poster. Did you want to take it away, Keith? Um, my favorite color is red. What is yours? Um, blue. I love blue. As you can see, I've got a bit of a oh, that's hot. <laughs> bit of a painting. <laughs> I've got blue in it. But red's good color. Goes with a lot of other colors. Yeah, that's so cool. And Maggie, when you're doing your paintings, do you use particular colors for particular things? Um, yeah, I usually like to use blue if I'm doing something about the ocean or the greens and browns for the land, but sometimes I don't keep it like that. Sometimes I do it a bit more abstract. Maggie, you might have noticed that we're actually inside one of your pieces of artwork right now. All I around us is that. your artwork. It looks very cool. <laughs> <laughs> and am I right in thinking that this was actually a piece you did for NADOC Week last year? Yeah, I didn't really put as much effort into making one last year but yeah this is the one I did and I liked it it's a bit different to what I usually do love the pastels and am I right in thinking that the theme was um gathered together is that right um I think that it was always was always will be for NADOC week oh for your painting though was it because I think I remember seeing oh for that Instagram. particular one yes yeah. <laughs> no all good yeah. all good um, and I love that because that's obviously so fitting that we're all coming together once again uh, for NADOC week this year, which is super cool. Did you have a theme of this year's NADOC poster that you could share with us? Uh, because the theme for NADOC week is Heal Country, my poster is called Care for Country. So That's awesome. Oh, it's a beautiful piece. And actually we wanted to share with you because there um, was another artist at the Queensland Children's Hospital called Benita. And Benita was wasn't able to join us today, but she, just like you, has won a NADOC Week poster competition. So we have her poster right here for you to see, um, and it's titled Night Sky, The Night Sky. So this is by Benita. Beautiful. So shout out to you, Benita, for your amazing artwork. <laughs> Love what do you reckon of that, Maggie? Yeah, good colors, aren't they? How about Keith, we get stuck into our own artwork? What do you reckon? Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> got a little bit of inspiration going on there got your materials to hand so Maggie's yeah. going to be doing hers on the iPad and showing us um, and then Keith you've obviously got your materials ready to go there and today we thought it'd be yeah. super fun if we all did our artwork to the same theme so the theme for today is going to be home now you can interpret that in any way you want any thing that springs to mind when you think of home you can do your own design Keith and Maggie's going to do hers as well and as we're doing it, we can just have a chat. Maggie you can chat us through what you're kind of drawing, any techniques you're using, and then Keith will check in on you as well and see how you're going. How's that sound, Keith? Good. Awesome. Alrighty, well, I'm gonna hand over to you, Maggie, to show us how you okay. do what you do. <laughs> um, so I use my iPad, it's pretty cool. Um, do you have your idea, Keith? No. No? Okay. Do you want me to tell you mine? Um, maybe. Maybe? You want to wait till it's done? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Okay, all right, I'll leave it a surprise. Hey Maggie, how old were you when you started doing your painting? Um, 19. But I always 19. loved drawing when I was like in stage. <laughs> Ooh. Okay. thought it was awesome. very fun. And because um, that wasn't even that long ago, like to win a, a NADOC Wait. Week poster competition now. Because you're, you're only a couple of years after that now, aren't you, that you since mm -hmm. you started? Yeah, yeah, two years yeah. now. <laughs> um, wow. But yeah, I have only been using, so the NADOC artwork is digital. Um, oh, yeah. And I've only been using an iPad for like, not even a year, hey, I Keith? think. Yeah. Keith, just to answer your question, we're using the theme of home. Okay. Home, whatever that means to you. That's so cool, Maggie. And do you have a preference for how you do your artwork, either digitally or using paints and things like that? Um, 
Painting takes a lot more time. <laughs> so sometimes if I just have an idea and I want to get it done quickly, I'll do it on the iPad. Um, it's really good. It's pretty cool on the iPad too to change colors and things. Like if you make a mistake, you can just swap it out for another color. It's a bit easier than repainting a whole canvas. But um, yeah, it's they're both very different, but both fun. That's so cool. And when you do your painting, um, using your paints in your canvas, do you do anything to kind of pass time? Do you put on any music, seeing as it takes a bit longer to get you in the zone, anything like that? Yeah, I definitely always have music playing or a TV show or something in the back. That's cool. Do you have a favourite artist, like a music artist? Um, not really. I like a lot of old Whatever music. Test. <laughs> That's cool. How about you, Keith? Do you have any favourite music that you like to listen to? No, just any. Anything, whatever goes. Yeah, whatever comes up. That's awesome. Hey Maggie, can we have a little sneak peek of what you've done so far? I don't know how well you can see it. Yeah. That, that colour almost matches your jumper. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Inspired. <laughs> Not a bit of yeah inspiration from the jump. <laughs> yeah, and Keith, what you? How are you going with yours so far? What are you kind of thinking of drawing? I don't know. I'm still thinking. Yeah, that's it. Sometimes you got to get drawing first, and then the inspiration comes to you after. You know. You know what colours you're going to use? No. <laughs> <laughs> you got to get a bit of red in there, Keith. Oh yeah, yeah, yep. That's always a good one. And Maggie, do you have a favourite place that you like to paint? Um, or do your artwork from? Like, um, I just sit on my lounge room floor actually usually. <laughs> it's very cold here in Canberra, so it's, it's nice to paint outside, but it's absolutely freezing. I think it was, it's like one degree. A lot of the time. Wow, that is chilly. Yeah. <laughs> that sounds cold, doesn't it, Keith? Yeah. Cool. Well, Maggie, while you're doing that, we might have a little look at some of your other artworks. We've got some photos here. So you were saying you like to use blues a lot, which definitely comes across in this one. Um, and yeah. I love the turtles as well. Were you inspired by any particular area or thinking when you kind of created this piece? Um, yeah, so I grew up... Um, basically on the beach so I was missing home a bit and that's what came to mind that's gorgeous and I'm guessing there's probably turtles where you grew up yeah there's everything there's a uh, on when turtles the hatching season um, where I live is very popular people come to visit just to watch the turtles hatch oh wow that sounds amazing Keith have you ever seen the turtle in real life I did once that that's so cool was it a big one or a baby oh. It was like a big one. Cool. They get was it laying big. eggs, Keith? What was that? Was it laying its eggs or was it just having no, a walk around? No, it was around? just like swimming around. Oh, yeah. All right, let's have a look at the next one. So, Keith, this looks like it might be up your alley because uh, there's kind of some reddy and orangey tones in here. Maggie, is this? I'm getting more of an earthy vibe from this one. Is that right? Yeah, that's more of an inland kangaroo painting. It's that's more so like cool. where you find red dirt and things. Is that the kangaroos in the top right hand corner? Yes. Yeah, so that's the kangaroo symbol. And then down the bottom, there's a different one. Um, that's emu tracks. Oh, that's awesome. And that one was done digitally? Yeah, that was a digital one. I'd love to do it as a real painting, but that would take a very long time. <laughs> Yeah, I can imagine. That is so cool. And then this one's got a bit of everything going on. This is incredible. Oh yes, that one. I was playing with... I love um, just black and white. I think that looks really cool, but I'm not very good at it. So I thought I'd add in some reds and couldn't help myself with the blues. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's very vibrant. That's amazing. Does this one represent anything in particular? Um, nothing in particular. I was having a bit of a play around with colour. That's amazing. So do you usually kind of start your artwork and then just see where it takes you rather than having a particular piece in mind before you start? 
Um, I do prefer to have a story and a meaning behind it because that's obviously the purpose of Indigenous art. Um, but sometimes I do like to just play around with some colours and to see what the flow can be like. That's amazing. Now, speaking of which, can we see, have a little look at how your, your home piece of artwork is coming on, Maggie? Not as good as I'd like it to be. <laughs> yeah, you're on the spot. Oh, I love it. Can you talk <laughs> us through it a little bit? Um, so it is a branch. Well, Keith didn't want to know my idea, so does he want to know now? Or still want to wait? What was that? Did you want to know my idea or do you still want to wait? Can I know your idea? Yeah. <laughs> um, I am going to do... Do you know what a bottle brush is? No. Okay, so it's this plant. I'll show you. Have you ever seen a plant that looks a bit like... A bit like this? Oh, oh I did see it a couple of times. Yeah, well, it is native to Australia, but it reminds me of home because my parents in my home that I grew up in, they have a big bottle brush tree in the front yard. So that's what I'm going to draw. That makes me think of home. That's amazing. Keith, have you come up with an idea? Yeah, I'm just doing something at the moment. Okay, cool. I won't interrupt your flow. <laughs> Hey Maggie, do you do anything in particular for NADOC week in terms of celebrating? Um, I like to see what's on. There's usually different things on every year around the, around the place. So I usually just see what's on and then go ahead to something. I know they're having a family day here uh, at the end of NADOC week with lots of food and entertainment and things. So I'll probably be going to that. I'm looking forward to it. So Maggie, I know um, Princess and Aiden have been able to pop back on the call, but one of Aiden's questions he wanted to ask you off the back of telling you about his um, his weaving that he's been doing was to ask you whether you do any other alternative types of arts, like weaving, for instance. No, I don't. I would love to do weaving. I have tried a couple of times. I'm not very good at it. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's something I'd love to learn. I'll have to keep keep working at it. And uh, I know Princess as well, she was gonna show you, I mentioned her t-shirt design that she'd been working on. Aiden had done one as well. Um, and Princess yeah. wants to know if you've designed any pieces of clothing or gifts or anything like that. No, I definitely have a few of my pieces I'd love to put on clothing, but I haven't designed anything specifically for it. I do, hopefully I'll be able to do that in the future but I would love to see her yes well hopefully we can get at least get a picture for you that we can show you <laughs> but no your designs look amazing on clothing <laughs> would be very cool to see that walking around it sure would alrighty now not that I want to rush an artist's work but do we think we had maybe three more minutes? We could um, maybe do a bit of a show and tell. Keith, do you reckon that'd be enough time? It will be, a little, yeah. I'll just try. And we, yeah. I'm happy to have a yes, five minutes. Exactly. If <laughs> five minutes. We can up, we can up the ante here. Five minutes is fine. <laughs> hey Maggie, other than art, what do you like to do in your spare time? Um, there's a lot of lakes here. It's always nice to go for a walk around the lake. Um, I like shopping. Um, I don't know. Painting's probably my only thing that I really do <laughs> in my spare but time. It sounds like it takes up quite a lot of time, so it probably doesn't leave much it time for anything. I can imagine. Yeah. <laughs> well, I love going to the beach when I go back home, see my family, hanging out with all my friends. Just the usual. Do you do water sports at the beach and stuff and surfing? Um, no, I've never been able to surf. Um, I tried once and I got washed back up on the shore. <laughs> so I haven't given it a go again, but I might have to. <laughs> 
take two. <laughs> yes. How about you, so, Keith? Oh, Have you ever done any up. surfing? Um, I did try at camp. Like a, did you like, like it? A, did you enjoy um, it? Yeah, it was pretty good. It was like, I think it was yeah, tricky. It was fun. What was that? I said, did you think it was tricky or you liked it? It was because we had to like stand up and that. Yeah, that's where I got stuck. <laughs> Do you like the beach? It's a lot of body strength. <laughs> yeah, I like like getting hit by the waves. You like that? <laughs> yeah, I don't know why. <laughs> Are you a good swimmer? Yeah. That's good. Hey Keith, what do you like to do in your spare time? Play video games. Do you have a favourite video game? Fortnite. <laughs> <laughs> Maggie, have you ever tried Fortnite? No, I have some little cousins that tell me lots about it, but I don't, would know nothing. I know it's very popular. Maybe I'll have to give it a try. What do you reckon? Probably, maybe. <laughs> Can you give any tips is it, to is Maggie it for younger Keith? People? What was that? Is it for younger people? No, this old follower plays it and he's like, he's like a YouTuber. Oh, and this old follower, so that's where you're gonna be. He's like, like in his 50s and he still plays it. Jeez, like he is old, so. isn't he? Yeah. <laughs> Have you ever played Minecraft, Key? Yeah, I play it. Not, not like, you don't like it as much as Fortnite though? Oh, it, Minecraft is good. I do like it, but not as good as Fortnite. Do you have any tips for anyone trying to get into Minecraft or Fortnite? Like if Maggie did want to give it a whirl, what would your top tip be to her for, for getting stuck into Minecraft or Fortnite? Oh, Fortnite is like good. Like, if you was to play Fortnite, like you would have to like build a lot. Cause like, yeah, there was just there's like a lot of good people out there, like good oh. players. So if I wanted to be the best, I'd really have to work at it. Yeah. Oh, okay. Do you reckon you're up there with the best players? Nah, I wish. <laughs> one day. Well, you know, Maggie's only been doing art for a couple of years and she's won the NADOC poster competition. So you never know, Keith. A couple of years time, you could be one of those top YouTubers too. That's it. Just got to keep practicing. Ah! Ta-da! Aiden, <laughs> princess, you there? Yes. yes. Yay! And you've been doing your artwork. How amazing. Yes. Now, before we show our artwork, oh, keep it to yourself for a second. We'll do a show and tell in a second. But I was talking about your t-shirt designs, Princess and Aiden. I know you've done your t-shirts and you wanted to show Maggie. Could you show us your t-shirt designs? Here we go. Oh, bit Deadly. forward, Aiden, just so we can see yours. I like them. Looking good. Are they your favorite colors? Yes. Looks good. But it's New South Wales versus Queensland. That's why we done it. I did notice that. <laughs> Who do you guys go for? Queensland, New South Wales. Good. What? Oh no, a bit of, a bit of family rivalry there between the two teams. <laughs> Keith, who do you go for? I feel like you're the deciding vote here in the family. For like... The NRL or? The blue, blues or the maroons? Blues all day. Oh! oh. It's alright, Princess, no. we'll get them. <laughs> We've got 2v2 going on here. I'll be impartial. <laughs> Who's your favourite NRL team, Keith? Bongos. Broncos. Broncos, but you go for New South Wales. I know. 
<laughs> um. And Aiden and Princess, how are you getting on with yours? Good. 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 Well, before we show them, I asked your questions to Maggie a bit earlier, just when we went on the line. And Maggie was saying, um, Princess, that she hasn't done any clothing designs yet, but that she'd really like to. So there you go. Yeah. You're both at the same stage at the designing um, of your artwork for your clothing. Hey, Aiden, um, did you want to ask Maggie or tell Maggie about what you've been up to at school for NADOC week in your workshops? Yeah, we're um, doing weaving. Um, we're supposed to be doing cooking right now. But then we've got this. Yes. Ellen said you did some weaving. Um, yeah, there's, we're doing weaving with Tony or Albert. Oh. And Aiden, did you want to ask Maggie the question that you had for her? Um, um, I've been doing weaving in class. Yeah. Yeah, and um, did you done weaving before? I've tried it a couple of times. I wasn't very good at it though. Were you good at it? Yeah, me, me and Prince was having a race on it. Oh. <laughs> you have to be pretty good to go pretty fast. And Aiden, what else have you been up to at school this week? Um, doing the schoolwork. Um, just doing my schoolwork and playing. Do you guys get school holidays soon? Yeah. Yeah. Is that next week? This week is this week. Oh. <laughs> um, what sports do you like? Um, I like rugby. I used to play touch football and netball. They were pretty good. But to watch rugby is my favourite. Do you like swim swimming? I do like swimming actually. It's good. It's good to yeah. watch. Do you like yeah, swimming? Yeah, I came first in all my races. Did you? Congratulations. Yeah. And, run and running. I got age champion in my school. Wow. I used to be a pretty good runner too. Hey, Princess. We were talking to Maggie about how she celebrates NADOC week. Um, Princess, do you celebrate NADOC week with your family in any way? Um, do you go black? Not really. Well, it sounds like you've been up to lots of fun celebrations at school this week. I think I heard yeah. you were even part of the opening ceremony. Is that right? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> what have you got on for school for the rest of the day? Um, we got a walking, um, walking, walking. um, bush tucker. Alrighty, I think it's time. I think the grand reveal is upon us. Right. Okay, I'm ready. You're ready? Not, all right, yeah, in which I'm case, not... Keith, I think. All right, well, in which case, Keith, Keith's ready. So I reckon we should start with Keith while everybody else finishes theirs off. Keith, can you show us what you've been working on? Would you look at that? Can you talk us oh, through yeah. your creation? Oh, oh wait. <laughs> <laughs> That's so cool. Can you describe to us what you've you've drawn there, Keith? So this is the uh, um the mango tree. Oh yeah. Those two. That's like my electric scooter. We've got an electric scooter. Cool. Um, this is like the grass bit. I've got to fix it up. This is I don't know what that is. Oh, this is better. Um, and this is like a rainbow house on top of the like. On top of the roof. That's beautiful. I love the rainbow. Yeah. Good job. Nice work. I can't believe you drew all that in that short space of time. Keith, yeah, that's that was amazing. Very, very quick. Alrighty. So who's going to go next? Princess, Aiden, have you got your pieces ready? Aiden. Um, Princess. No, mine's going to take forever. I've got to do... Um, come back to us. 
Okay. <laughs> and what we can do, if you if you haven't totally finished, it's all good because you can finish these afterwards, and we can send Maggie through the photos of the final final product afterwards. You know, so this is like a work in progress stage we're at now. Okay, I'm gonna all right, with show that. Mine. <gasps> okay. Okay. Mine is two. Wow. Wow. I love the colours. It's looking good so far. I'd love That's to see amazing. It okay. Princess, I don't know if you saw earlier, but we shared a photo of Maggie's and she did a piece of artwork with turtles in it. So I think we can probably yeah, show it to you that. again. Oh, you saw yeah, it! That. Awesome! That is so cool. I love that. Have you seen a turtle in real life, Princess? Yes. Um, yeah. That's so cool. I love the colours you're using as well. And Aiden, where do you reckon you're at? Are you ready to show uh, us? Yeah, wait, one more. <laughs> oh, just it's not finished. That's all right. Wow. Are you gonna talk us through it? Um, this is uh, the tree with like, it's like fun. Oh. And um, I brought a like, like a circle house. Oh, cool. With balloons, with balloons oh, going, yeah. I'm like taking the house. Oh. <laughs> Wait, show me Aiden. What is that? <laughs> it's meant it to be good. up. It's meant to be it's up. The movie. The movie oh, up. The movie, the movie up. up. Oh, it's looking good. I like the colours. That is very creative and it's such a good movie. Is that your favourite movie, Aiden? No. Have you got a favourite movie? What's your favourite? Yeah, um, The Conjuring. Oh, <laughs> oh wow. <laughs> I can't even everyone. watch that. It's too scary for me. We got the new one. We got the new one. You saw it. The new one? That's in the movies? Yeah. You're brave. Yeah. It's time for right. your grand reveal. This is, it's alright. This is a bottle brush. The plants. Oh, oh wow. Oh, hang on. Which one are we going? I don't see it very well, sorry. No, that's amazing. Keith, what do you reckon of that? Oh. It's good. Are we it's got your favourite colours in it too? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Princess Aiden, have you heard of that plant before that Maggie's drawn? Yes. Cool, amazing. Well, while you finish off your artwork, Aiden, Princess and Key, Maggie, we've got an amazing uh, community of hospital healthcare workers and just wanted to see if you have any special shout outs or messages that you'd like to share with them all. Um, I just thank you for everything that you do. I'm sure you're always so busy and it must be, yeah, really hard sometimes, but thank you. Um, and I hope you all have a great NATO week and enjoy the celebrations. Beautiful. Well, I can see that Keith, Aiden, and Princess are very keen to continue their artwork pieces, and we will share the finished uh, product with you, Maggie. But for mm -hmm. today, I just wanted to say a very happy NADOC week to everyone. And thank you so much for joining us, Maggie, and to you, Keith, Princess, and Aiden as well, our superstar host for today. And we'll just say one big, if you can come up for air from your drawings, Keith, Aiden, and Princess, we'll just say one big happy goodbye and happy NADOC week to everyone out there. So we'll do it. One, two, three. Happy NADOC week! Happy NADOC week! <laughs> week. Woo. Thanks so much, everyone. And catch us next time on the Next Juice TV virtual visits. Thanks for joining us. Bye.